Hello dear traders, welcome to InstaForex TV channel. You're watching a weekly link up with me, Anna Kasatkina. We're going to discuss the ongoing situation on Forex with technical analyst Peter Yakimovich and try to forecast further moves of popular currency pairs. Recently, the US dollar has been highly oversold after the US Federal Reserve revised its strategy on inflation targeting. The markets perceived this monetary policy as a delay in raising interest rates. On Tuesday, traders were encouraged by the data showing a rise in the US manufacturing activity. Amid this news, the US dollar managed to win back some of its losses. However, this macroeconomic data had a short-lived effect on the market sentiment. A similar report on business activity in the non-manufacturing sector was less positive, so the US dollar growth was put on hold. At the moment, traders are looking ahead to the US jobs report to see further trajectory of the price. So what does the technical analysis reveal about major trading instruments on Forex? Let's find out from our technical expert Peter Yakimovich. Hi, Peter. Hello, dear traders. Uh, on the euro versus US dollar, basically what we got is that um, my previous forecast and um, potential for the dead upside breakout was the, uh, worked actually very good because the price actually uh, tested at 1.1990 level. But um, after we reached that level, I found that the price that we got rejection from that uh, pivot resistance. And uh, again, the euro dollar is still in that uh, consolidation. So I basically opened the weekly time frame, weekly chart, and found that we have a, basically a few weeks of consolidation after a strong upside trend. And I'm thinking that based on the week to week perspective, we might have downside rotation uh, because we, you know, we went, um, we overextended on the upside, in my opinion. So I wouldn't be surprised if we can rotate down. Um, and uh, if we can go to, I'm seeing like a drift pattern on the weekly time frame, which might result a sell off, probably even up to the, you know, down to the 1.1450. Anyway, in case of the upside breakout, let's say that we have a good upside breakout of the resistance at 1.1990, I see that there is a potential for test of the 1.2165. But um, as I'm seeing right now, based on the weekly week to week perspective, I'll give uh, more chance to the downside, a rotation to the downside. But anyway, watch for the breakout also of the resistance as well. In that case, you can go uh, eventually for um, buying opportunities on the Polmax. And what is the outlook for the pound dollar pair? On the British pound versus US dollar, what we got basically in the recent few days, I found that there, there is a, a breakout, downside breakout of the uh, free bar uh, balance. So this, basically, this is a free bar trading range, and um, I see this uh, further downside. Um, and eventually, for our price can go uh, to test 1.3145 or even 1.3 level. Uh, again, the pound traded uh, upside, but then it found basically the free bar balance, and I'm seeing this rotation eventually towards that 1.3145 and 1.3 level. So downside opportunities are preferable under this condition. And now let's have a closer look at the gold chart. Many analysts believe that the precious metal will keep rising in value. Petter, do you think traders should increase their buy positions on gold? And uh, on the gold, so gold is in heavy trading range. Basically what I found in the recent few days, that basically gold just tried to go above, tried to go below, but every time we close on the daily out, uh, we closing inside the trading range. So basically on this way, we increase the trading range. So because fake breakouts basically are also designed for uh, increasing the trading range um, levels. And I will watch for a breakout. So on this, uh, on the goal, the upside breakout of uh, 1,995 1, can lead us to eventually 2,000 level, potential test of 2,065. But the breakout of support, the potential rotation of the downside and breakout of the support at 1,905 can lead us basically even to test the 1,825. So definitely watch for a breakout since I'm seeing this um, uh, instrument in the contraction. So breakout mode will be good to watch here on this uh, on the goal. Thank you, Peter, for your trading recommendations and see you back next week. You've watched the link up on InstaForex TV with me, Anna Kasatkina, and Peter Yakimovich, technical analyst of InstaForex. We wish you always profitable trading and see you back soon.